Hello, my friends, with a special reading for the sign of Aries. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Aries strongly in their chart. Um, this will, um, my intention now, Aries, is to bring forward um, a forecast and a scenario and information that can help guide you, um, that can help you plan for the future. Um, we are looking at the next seven to ten days. We're looking at the next immediate period of time. All right, so we're looking at the current situation for Aries. The current situation now for Aries. Current situation for Aries. All right, so let's go ahead and just dig right in here. Let me make sure these are straight on the screen. So we're, we're starting off here with, with the tower. And I think for many of us now, um, and as you can see, the tower does have a lot of fire in it. So um, whatever this crisis is that you're experiencing, and, and many of us are experiencing the same kind of situation, um, no matter where we are in the world, we are experiencing a major change in our lives right now, different perspectives, different ways of being, different behaviors that we are stepping into. Um, and for some of us, this can be quite traumatic. For others of us, um, this can be something that can be enlightening. We're all experiencing um, experiencing this crisis or this situation in a different way. For this group of Aries people, there is a shock here. There is surprise. There is a major change. And um, I, I think for you, it is it has very much impacted you. And I, I just feel like for many of you, it could have really um, shot some energy into you. And and you might respond to that energy differently. Every one of you might be, be responding to it differently. But it does feel like there has been like a shock of energy put into you. And even though there might be situations around you that could be crumbling, I think that you are able now to really respond to those energies, to respond to the situation in a way that... Um, is is helping you to move forward in some sort of way that's positive because we do have the three of wands here i feel like the tower it's a first card that came out it could be the major energy that's around you or it could be um what you're sort of moving out of um because it, it just came in so strongly in the, in the beginning now after the tower is a three of wands this is optimism this is um a positive mindset um this is understanding um where we place our thoughts if we're placing our thoughts and we're focusing on positive, the positive elements, um, we can feel optimistic. We can feel enthusiastic. We can feel um, positive for the future and for um, changes in our lives that will come in um, that will be impactful for our success in some way or another. Um, the Three of Wands is also a very fiery energy. It helps to propel us forward into something. It's kind of like fueling up our gas tank. It's kind of like putting fuel in our gas tank or diesel or whatever kind of power that you use. Maybe it's a battery or maybe it's wind power, whatever it is. Maybe it's the power of the sun. Um, whatever it is here, it's helping to fuel you um, where you're gaining energy within. You might not be moving forward, although we do have another three here, so we have two threes. Um, you might not quite be moving forward yet, or you could be in an area of just re-energizing yourself, kind of like your electric car connected into the to the um, battery charger. It's charging. It's getting ready to go. That's kind of what I'm being shown here. Now, we also have the three of pentacles here, Aries. So um, there is a situation here that has already been created. Um, the Three of Pentacles is something that has already been started. It's something that you feel very enthusiastic about or very optimistic about. And it's also an, en an energy of um, industriousness, right? The busyness of it, um, getting involved in it, sitting down and getting the mind involved in it, getting the body involved in it, going through the processes of it. But it's still the very beginning stages, right? It's still something that still has some work to do with the Three of Pentacles. Um, this is, these are the energies of setting forth, getting, preparing to set forth and setting forth in something that, um, you know, if you really focus on this, it could be quite abundant in the future, right? It could be quite successful, whether it's a relationship, a new job, a business that you're starting, or just getting back out and recovering from some kind of a major shock here. Um, there is a, an energy here of industriousness, willingness to get involved, willingness to participate, um, and then this optimism that we see here as well. Um, with the Six of Wands, this is an energy of stepping forward now, um, putting on the, 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 the uniform, 
um, preparing yourself and stepping forward in some way. And this is a way of stepping forward where you are being seen. This is not stepping forward in quiet. This is stepping forward with enthusiasm, with um, dedication, with passion for a cause or for a job. Um, again, it can be in a relationship. It can be with work. It can be within the community. It can even be as a mother or as a father or as a sister or brother. In some way, you're stepping forward now because you have this drive to do it. You have this urge to do it. And it's, it's something that you really can't stop at this play, at this point in time. It's something that will, um, push you forward into something that you probably haven't done before, or maybe you haven't really done it in a long time. And it is inspiring for others to see you in this place. When you are in the Six of Wands, it's inspiring. It gains respect for you. Um, people look at you and they say, you know what, if this person who has been through this kind of a situation here with the tower, if this person can come forward and take action in this way, then I myself feel inspired that perhaps I can do this as well. Perhaps this kind of, of stepping forward preemptively or, or stepping, stepping forward offensively in my life is something that I can do as well. And you could be having impacts around you in ways that you may not understand, Aries, in ways that you may never see. Um, when we're in the Six of Wands, it is a very inspiring type of energy and, and it can be a contagious, um, it can, it can be a very contagious type of feeling. Um, and, it, and, it's a, and it's a kind of a current Aries that can flow through you and flow through other people. And it, it kind of has a, a positive ripple effect that I see here. So um, this is a group of Aries people that are in the recovering process from some type of a crisis or major change that has come in here for you. I don't think I want to... Um, um, can I, I, I'm going to continue to shuffle now, um, because this is free form. So I'm doing it, um, however I feel, um, this is for me to kind of be creative in this work. And it's something that I really enjoy. So I'm going to now shuffle some more energies and see what we get from this. I'm going to keep these cards out and I'm going to use the same deck and I'm going to shuffle one more time and see what we get. And then we'll dig deeper into these energies. What can we get now? Tell us, please tell us some more, please tell us more. Maybe even going, maybe this is, let's see what we get here. Let's see what happens. have to do this as I go when I do this kind of reading and I know that my tripod is a little bit bouncy but that is just how it is right now okay let me get into these energies here and and I think we're sort of moving forward now um, what I think I did in the in the first batch is kind of look at the current energy or maybe even the just the very recent past for you um, I do see that there is a change coming in for you with the judgment energy. Now, this is a change that could really impact you in ways that you don't really understand. This change could impact you very deeply within the heart center, within the soul. Um, it's something that when it happens, you may feel it is reverberating. Re it's echoing through. What's the word? It's like it's an echo that can go through reverberating. Is that a word? So it's kind of what's coming through uh, that can kind of echo through different areas, different chambers in our lives. So it's something that is a, um, and, and this can sometimes sound piercing. So if we're talking about the vibration of sound, this is what they're showing me now with the judgment energy. There's a vibration. Well, vibration is what creates change. And often within sound, there's vibration. So they're just using that as an example. But it's it, sometimes when we hear sounds, they can be piercing, they can be screeching, they can be, um, you know, like scraping on a chalkboard or scraping over um, styrofoam. Um, it can cause some pain and discomfort. So sometimes with the judgment energy, it can be uncomfortable. Um, there's usually some type of change that's required. There's usually some, so some sort of ego that is affected. 
um, where we might feel like, ah, shit, yeah, I did that and I shouldn't have done that. But, you know, I've done it now and now I see um, what what it, what came of it and um, I'm understanding it and I realize it was a lesson and I realize I'm a human and I realize that these kinds of things happen to everyone. And so I, uh, I appreciate that I know now and I'm going to move forward in a different way. Um, lots of times the judgment energy can feel like that. It's, it is judgment energy. It is, it is an energy that creates new understanding and, and we have to be, um, it, it's just coming forward that it, it's, it can be di- deeper. It can be more significant than just saying there's a major change coming in. Right. And, and when I get into that energy, there is a feeling that affects the heart center. So there is, and it does affect the yin side of me so it affects the feminine side of me and it could create some sort of a stillness in the masculine side which there could be some kind of deep hurt here or something a belief change or a need now to rest where i feel there's a, maybe a short stoppage with the masculine energy which is about action so when this happens it might really cause you to to spend some time in reflection and i don't mean a month maybe maybe a month for some of you i don't know but it could just be a day it could be a couple hours it could be when you're in the car and somehow your ego has been hit with something you know maybe you got a message from someone or you got a message from a mother or somebody and you realize maybe you've done something or somebody has done something in it and maybe you've done something where you could have done something differently and maybe you are um, in a, in a moment of self-reflection and it's sad and it hurts you and you spend some time just, yeah, there could be some tears here in this energy, um, where you realize that maybe what you thought before is now different. Do you realize now when, when these words are coming through, um, they're coming through in a way that's non-judgmental, that's loving and compassionate. There's no, um, flogging. That's the word that I always use with my team. There's no flogging here. There is um, compassion and love and um, and a reverence for how the human mind and body and soul um, can find understanding and can adapt and can grow and expand. Um, so this is a reverent type of feeling for some of you. Um, it could be, uh, there could be some tears, there could be some apologies, there could be some thankfulness. It's going to affect everyone in a different way. Um, but it, it is something that is a cleansing energy. It's something that will clean you. It will something that will help you understand and can move you forward in a completely different way. Um, we do have the Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles is a, an energy of detail orientation. This is an energy like a Virgo Capricorn Taurus energy. This is some sort, there, there could even be another person here. Um, all right, here we go. Let's dig in. I feel like I that judgment energy was important, and now that we're digging into this energy now, we're, we're doing some digging now. Let's go into the Queen of Pentacles. Tell us more about the Queen of Pentacles, please. So we have judgment, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Knight of Swords, Devil Energy. Let's go more into the Queen of Pentacles, please. Five of Pentacles, Justice. So there's something here whether it is in budgeting or in looking at the details of finances, there's some sort of um, reestablishment of, of some sort of financial loss or fear of finances here. There's some balance around this. There could be a solution coming in here. There could be some kind of effectiveness that you're having at looking at money, looking at numbers, um, working through processes and looking at the details and uh, because the Queen of Pentacles is like, she's an administrator. She is the person who can say, well, why don't we take this and move it over here? And then this will be, be impacted in this way. And then we have this other little bunch here down here that really is useful for this. You know, this is the Queen of Pentacles. She can really kind of take details and, and move them around and sort them. And, you know, she can take a whole, if you're talking about a puzzle, like an actual puzzle that you put together. She can take a whole pile of puzzle pieces that are all different. They're all in a pile. And she can say, okay, corner goes over here. And this looks like it might be in the upper left of the puzzle and this down here. And so she enjoys that kind of energy. And she sees the details. Um, and, and there's some sort of victory here. There's some sort of balance here when it comes to fear, fear of consequences, 
financial discomfort, uh, maybe even being left out in the cold, maybe even being feeling lonely um, in your journey um, here with the Five of Pentacles, um, feeling a doomsday effect, feeling like, when is this rainstorm going to ever pass? You know, am, am I going to be here forever in this situation? And there seems to be some sort of a victory or some sort of new balance that's coming in here. And it has to do with really paying attention to the details. Now, this is a center energy. So this is a bigger energy here with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, now, what's interesting is we have the devil energy over the top of the Queen of Pentacles and over the top of the Four of Wands. So there has been now in the Four of Wands, we know it's stability. It's it's something that create that can create stability around us so that we feel comfortable in our lives, so that we feel comfortable enough to continue to step forward and do things and take action. So this could be an engagement, perhaps. This could be a formalization of a relationship. This can be um, creating stability in the workplace or um, coming up with a new contract or finding a client that, that really matches your services and, and there's there's a good relationship that's building. And this and these relationships and these contracts and these engagements create a um a a safety net, a safety net, a safe harbor is what is that? okay. A safe harbor, a safety net around us that will that will help us feel safe and secure as we move forward. So it's like a warm blanket that wraps around us. That is a feeling of the four of wands for me in this reading. Um, there, there are a lot of different um, ways people identify for, with the four of wands. And if there is a way that's coming out to you, that's here for you, go ahead and, and grab onto that if you feel like it. But that's the energy that I'm kind of in now. Now the devil is over the top of that. So you know, I, I do think that this is probably fear. This is worry. Um, this is being obsessed about it, not really being able to get the mind off of it. Um, this could be even um, not really realizing it. That's how the devil, the devil energy can be really sneaky. It can be really sneaky because at one time you're doing fine. And then these thoughts can kind of creep in or behaviors can creep in. And before you know it, you could be in um, an unhealthy place, whether it's within the body or the mind or the heart, you can be in an unhealthy place within it. So um, this could be even just, you know, when, when we go through times of difficulty, when we focus too much on, for example, the news or um, a certain kind of mindset or a certain controversy, or a certain set of beliefs. And these could have the energy around them where you might feel out of control, like you don't have any control in this, that this is something that's happening and you're feeling helpless or weak. Um, that's when the devil energy can kind of take in because then you start to have thoughts of, you know, frustration or you can get caught up in some sort of consciousness or you can get caught up in drinking or you can get caught up in whatever it is. Um, and I'm not saying drinking is bad and I'm not saying getting caught up in a consciousness is bad. But when you connect it with the devil energy and it's over the top of the four of wands and the king, the queen of pentacles, it tells me it's something that's affecting how you feel about your own security. It's something that could be stopping actions that could be helpful for you to take. It's something that may be keeping you from digging into the details, right? Um, I've been there before where it's just, I have just felt too tired or I felt too hopeless or I felt too um, weak to dig into the details. Because sometimes when we look into the details, it requires us to really look at the situation and not really distract ourselves, right? So it could be something that's a distraction. It could be keeping you from looking into the details here and, and figuring out some things. Um, I do have the Knight of Swords here, so it does tell me, um, Aries, that you are moving forward. You're able to really express yourself. Um, you're able to say what needs to be said. I think you're finding your own um, clarity in this situation, and you're moving forward in a way. See, you know, normally you would be moving in the, and when I get into the energy, it's kind of a breathless energy. So um, normally when you would be moving in this energy, you would be in the Knight of Wands, in the Knight of Wands energy but you're in the Knight of Swords energy. So there's something here that's about clearing up confusion. There's something here that you might be having to think or finding clarity around before you take action. So in the next week or so, you might be at a place where you're overcoming this fear or obsessive quality or even 
defensiveness or something here with the devil. And then in the next week or so, I think that you are finding clarity. You're able to express yourself. You might be communicating with people here. Let's look deeper into the Knight of Swords. Oh, I have my deck upside down. Goodness, let's not do that. There we go. Okay, let's let's look into now um, this Knight of Swords and see what this Knight of Swords can bring us. See some more information here about the Knight of Swords. Three of Swords or something. It's anxiety and stress. Maybe heartbreak here. Worry. See the owls sitting on the swords. It's interesting. Could be about... These could be experiences that could be... Somehow related to wisdom here with the owls. Nine of Swords. There's anxiety and worry. I think you're finding clarity over this. See, that's why you have the judgment energy here. And they did have me talk quite a bit about the judgment energy. So there's something here. In this realization or some epiphany, Nine of Pentacles. So there's a recovery here. There's a recovery here that will help in some way with your own independence, with your own self-sufficiency, with your own enjoyment of life. And this could have to do with understanding the need now to take back your empowerment in some way because the nine of pentacles is an energy of self self abundance self choice self strength it is creating comfort and enjoyment and abundance through the self through the advancement of the self Let's look at the devil energy here really quick and see what else we can get out of that. And we'll look into the four of wands as well and see what we can find there, Aries. First, let's look into the devil energy. Here's the two of cups in reverse fl flying in. And see how the two of cups is connected in with the four of wands. So there could be some sort of um, even disagreements that you might be having. And there's a... See? Damn. Well, see, this... this this devil energy could be impacting your partnerships with other people, maybe your own romantic partnerships or spousal partnerships or even partnerships at work or within the community. There could be some sort with this devil energy now. Remember, I'm in the devil energy. So there could be some kind of an impact that it's been having on how you feel about the um, heart, how you feel emotionally about the people around you. And there could be some instability here. And this devil energy could be keeping you now from taking action or it could be affecting how you strong you feel in your life. You could be feeling weak. You could be feeling helpless. You could be feeling like you have no control over the situation. And that's here we have this new action, new excitement here um, in the reverse. So we have two energies that so interestingly fell in in the reverse. And when they fall in like that, we have to take them. And, and I hope this helps you understand, Aries, that there is a spiritual team here that's connecting in. Um, with your energies and if especially if you're resonating with this and there is a message here for you that is brought forward with kindness and compassion a reminder of who you are who you are aries and what your strength is and what you can do most most powerfully in the world um, around you um, it, um, as, as this as strong aries energy okay let's go ahead and and put the put these cards back in the upright into the deck and let's look into the Four of Wands now. Tell me more about this Four of Wands, please. Tell me more about the Four of Wands. Tell me more about the Four of Wands. Here we have a fool, the Fool energy and the Nine of Pentacles again. So there's something new that you're going to be doing here. Something new that you haven't really done before. Um, it does. It 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 does bring in an, an energy of excitement. Let me make sure there's no other energies coming out and then I'll talk. There's a Knight of Wands. So now we see the Knight of Wands kind of showing back up again, right? It's just kind of overcoming this anxiety here. All right, 
page of pentacles so there is something here that's going to create new stability for you that you're working on to create stability with this four of wands i'm um, clarifying the four of wands um we have the fool energy this is this is um, a feeling that you haven't been in before it could be exciting it could make you very nervous it could um really make make you um the words are coming through tremble at the sight of what you have to do that's a little bit dramatic and i hear it so so there is some humor here aries there's a little bit of humor here uh the humor can come from the yin the, from the yin energy interestingly enough so the feminine side of you could be realizing this first and then the masculine side of you would then take action. Um, and I think this is something maybe that the feminine really likes, the feminine side of you, the, the side of you that really takes care of you, the side of you that demands rest, demands food, demand, demands relaxation, um, stillness, quiet, home, the enjoyment of being at home. That kind of an energy could think of this first, could come up with this idea first, and then after there was some time spent in this energy, um, then the the action part of you would start to tick, come through. Um, we, we do have some sort of desire here by these people, this Aries people here to have this independence and stability and, and, and begin to maybe enjoy the fruits of your labor in a bit more effective and abundant way than you have in the past. And I do think here with the Page of Pentacles that there are indications now that what you're doing could be paying off for you with the Page of Pentacles, whether it's in messages that you're receiving, whether it's in seeing indications of financial improvements, um, it just feeling more stable, getting more grounded in this process. We have two pentacles energies here. We have the queen of pentacles as well. We have four of wands, which talks about stability, which is really helpful for creating pentacle energy. And remember, pentacles energy isn't always about money, but it is about how we feel safe and comfortable and secure in the reality that, that we live in, right? It's not just a thought. It's not taking action in it. It's, it's something that we actually can experience. Right. That's the pinnacle energy. It's what we experience, how we enjoy our life, how we take care of ourselves, how our health is um, in the physical, how our body feels in the physical. Um, what kind of money are we making? Um, do we feel secure with our money and within our bank accounts? And, and how are we doing in the 3D? Right. It's living in the 3D. And we know that um, those of us who are on the earthly plane now, we are no matter what we think of and no matter what we try to do as far as. Um, um, performing, um, you know, we've all been there. I, I'm there, you know, we're all doing it, um, where we find, um, enjoyment in, in capacities that we can find that are of a more spiritual nature, no matter what kind of process we're going through, we still have to perform. We're still in the 3d and there's still things that we do in our lives as we walk, put our feet on the ground. And, and this is acknowledgement of that. And I think that there's something here that you're, um, really starting to um, get into the energy of here with the fool. And it is an exciting energy uh, with the fool. So that's what this group of people are going to be experiencing in the next seven to 10 days or the next couple of weeks, the next short period of time, Aries. I am going to move into the extended now. And in the extended reading, we'll take the situation out into the future, out two to three months to see how you'll do, you'll be doing in that period of time. And we'll be looking at the people that are around you, um, getting um, going into the energy of that group of consciousness. And then we'll see what that that group's perspective of the Aries energy is, how they might be feeling or thinking about you. Um, so that's what I'll be doing in the extended reading. I am going to move to that now, Aries. So my friends, thank you for being here. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to read for you today. And I wish you all the very best um, and, and stay healthy, stay strong. And I'll see you back on YouTube in another seven to 10 days with, with another update for the Aries, for the Aries energy. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.